Math Lesson 9.4, Backpack Math, Height, Width. I can compare length, capacity, weight, and temperature. So let's review. We have talked about how to measure height. When we measure the height of something, we find out how far it is from the bottom to the top. We find out how tall the object is. So if you see here, they measured from the bottom to the top. Same here. The tree is taller than the flower. The flower is shorter than the tree. All right, so let's look at these backpacks. Which backpack is bigger? Why do you think so? So what makes you look at these and say one is bigger than the other? Can you look at them and tell a difference? Is one taller or shorter? When we compare height, we have to make sure that we're measuring the right way. We have to make sure that we're starting at the bottom to measure. So see how this line is touching both of the bottoms of the backpacks. And then we go all the way to the top. So now we can see that the purple backpack is taller, right? Because this one does not go up to that line. How could we measure the height? So if we actually wanted to measure how tall each one was, so not just say which one's taller, but give an exact measurement. Well, we've done this before where we've used cube sticks. So do you see how I've placed the cube stick at the bottom of the backpack and gone all the way to the top of the backpack? Let's count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. This one is about eight because it's pretty close to the top. All right, let's check this one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So the purple backpack is ten cubes tall, and the teal backpack is eight cubes tall. And notice we started from the bottom on both of them and then we measured to the top on both of them. So now today we're gonna learn about measuring width. Width, when we measure width of some, the width of something, we find out how far it is from one side to the other. We find out how wide it is. So you see you start on this side and go all the way to the other side and it says the book is wider than the pen. The pen is narrower than the book. So again, we're going from side to side. So if you were going to measure the width of yourself, you would go from one side of your body, maybe across your stomach to the other. That's your width. So let's compare the width. So remember, the width is from one side to the other. So that would be the way that we measure that one. It is easier though to see the width when you're actually measuring it if you put one on top of the other, right? So we can see here that this teal backpack is over the purple backpack. So then we would say the teal backpack is wider. But how can we actually measure the width? just like we did with the height. So we wanna actually get a number. Well, we can use our cube blocks again. So remember, I start at one side and go to the other. Now I'm not gonna include the strap because that's not really the part of the big part of the backpack. So let's count. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, let's check the purple one. Again, we're gonna start on one side and go to the other. One, two, three, four, five. So the purple backpack is five cubes wide and the teal backpack is six cubes wide. So we say the teal backpack is wider. And we could also say the purple backpack is more narrow. That's a big word, huh? And remember, we start at one side and we end at the other for both of them. You have to make sure that you're measuring correctly. So let's check and see if you can try this. How many cubes wide is the sucker? Did you count six? One, two, three, four, five, six. See how it ends right about there? How many cubes wide is the house? 
Now remember, we started at the widest part of the house, so we went all the way down here. Can you count those? The house is 10 cubes wide. Let's look at these two and say, which one is wider? Can you look at those and say, which one is wider? The beach ball or the ice cream? The beach ball is wider, isn't it? Because from side to side, it is wider. Now the ice cream cone is taller, but the beach ball is wider. Which is wider? the watermelon or the popsicle? The watermelon is, because remember we're starting on this side and we're going to this side. Which ice cream is measured correctly? So let's look at how they measured these. Which one is the right way? The one on the left right here or the one on the right? The one on the left, because remember, whenever you measure, you have to start at the bottom and go to the top. Right here, they did not start at the bottom. So if I was going to look at this, I would say one, two, three, four, five, and that's not correct. Which one of these is the longest? The pink nail file, I think that is. That is the longest. Oh, so let's look at this. The object is inches long. So I need to look at this ruler underneath here and decide how long is this. So I start at this end and I see how far does it go to the end? Is it five, six, seven, or eight? It's not five because that's not the whole spoon, right? Six is not the whole spoon. Seven is not the whole spoon. So it is eight. Now, let's check this last one. The object is blank inches wide. So remember, we're going to start from one side and we're going to go to the other. So how many inches wide is the backpack? Is it six? No, because remember, we're going to go from the yellow part of the backpack. It is five, five inches wide. <laughs>